hello everyone welcome back to another video so in this video what we're going to be doing is that we're going to be looking at the best special abilities for every position in top 11 so let's start with the st so the main special abilities that you can train for an st is either free kick specialist a one-on-one -on -one scorer or a penalty kick specialist so if your st is double footed then you can maybe go for a free kick specialist otherwise as the special ability one-on-one -on -one scorer does just fine and since he's an ST, he's already going to be pretty good at taking penalties. So moving forward, let's head over to the AML and AMRs. So the best um, special ability that you can give to your AML or AMR or AMC is a Shadow Striker. As you can see, um, two of my wingers have Shadow Striker. And this one I got from an event. So this one already had the free free kick special special ability and if you can see this third winger of my team as well this one also has a shadow striker although this also has a set piece taker since he's both footed that works pretty good for him he's good at taking corners and free kicks as well but uh, if, if you're looking to yourself give a special ability in the wing area then shadow striker is the best special ability since they can shoot from behind the striker as well um, as an AMC or AML or an AMR, they won't be looking to pass the ball to the ST. Moving on to the MC, um, over here I have a dribbler MC, although this is not the best special ability to give to your MC, the best special ability to give to your MC is a playmaker, since he's going to be having options all around him to pass the ball to anyone, and that will be um, the best case scenario for an MC to have a special ability of a playmaker. Same is the case with the DMC. You can give the special ability of playmaker to the DMC since this guy also has a lot of options to pass to um, to pass to, and he can probably give a match changing pass as well. So these two might uh, be really good with the playmaker special ability since these two are central positions and these guys um, can get you some very good passes moving on to um, the defense line as for the dcs i would suggest that you have a uh, aerial defender as the special ability for the dcs and uh, the defensive wall as special ability for the nm uh, dr dls and drs although um, most of the people would say that dl and dr are the best special the best special ability for DL and DR is the aerial defender whilst um, defensive wall is the best special ability for the DCs um, they might be correct but I personally suggest you that you use um, aerial defender for the DCs and the defensive wall for the other DLs and DRs and as for the goalkeeper the best special ability you can have is a one penalty kick specialist although i have a one-on-one -on -one stopper this is how it um is but penalty kick specialist is the best ability you can have for a goalkeeper that will help you a lot in the penalty shootout and talking about the penalty shootout um the best special ability you can have for your reserves in top 11 2023 is that um one or two of your reserves can maybe have the special ability of a penalty kick specialist so in case of an important match if you if it's a knockout match you can you go to a penalty shootout that way you can switch a couple of your um, defenders or your dmc for the penalty kick specialist and then you can um, give them two of the penalties and usually three of the penalties are from your attackers so that way you can um, confirm that you get really good penalties and maybe improve your chance of winning and that is it for the video guys until next time peace out